<laughs> There's not a man safe in a pub. Hey, go on, say. Hey. Someone hits you, you hit them back. If you don't hit them back, you go, go run to the daddy, and if you cry, the daddy's hitting you. So he makes you go back out and hit him again. If anyone ever called me a pikey, I know they're not saying it with the goodness of the heart. Are we gonna get are we gonna get uh, some money out of this? I'll buy you beers, how about that? Oh that's good, I'll like to, uh, you buy me a pint? Yes. I'll have a pint of Jack Daniels. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's done. So men were very, very, very much dominant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, is that changed then? Million percent changed now. Women won't stand for it now. Why do you think that's changed? Our women won't stand for it now. But we'll cut that short now. I know you should have oh, came yeah. back. Yeah, you know, just very little bit. We're sober uh, now. You should have come back. But you know, uh, where's that? Where's that Jack Daniels? Right, we just left the van. We're on the Broadway now. It's getting a bit darker. It's getting darker earlier. And uh, if you've seen my last video. You'd have seen this footage before me walking down the Broadway. The amusement park is coming up on the right hand side. And this was the fish and chip shop. Still is. There you go. All right, let's see if these people are up for, uh, up for an interview at the pub. Right. So, second part of the Jaywick video. We've just walked down the Broadway, and uh, obviously I'm fascinated in cultures, as you know. I'm fascinated in cultures, communities, and we've got a great Irish traveller yes. um, culture here in Jaywick. So I've got some cracking people I want to chat to, because I'm interested in the culture. You probably are as well. I want to find out what they're all about, how they live. Let's find out. Hello. Okay. Hello, my friend. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> what is your name, mate? My name is David Joyce. David, mate, that's a, that is a typical Irish traveller name. It is, 100%. Yes. Now, the first thing I've got to ask sounds like a bit of a cliche. Yes. Are you a fighting man? I, I can't even fight her, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hang on a bit. So, is this your this, wife? This is the wife. Okay. This is the wife. I can't fight, never could fight, but I can drink. I'm a great drinker. You're a good drinker. I am, I'm a good drinker, yes. So mate, how long have you lived in Jaywick? I don't live in Jaywick. You don't live in Jaywick? I've got a yard in Jaywick. Not Jaywick, okay. outside Jaywick. I've got a yard. I live in Rumford. Oh, you're from where I am? Yes, mate. I live in Rumford, yes. That's, that's where I'm from. Rumford. Are you from Rumford? Yeah. yeah. Well, even not, just off North Street in Rumford. I know North Street. Yeah, I just live there, well. yeah. Right, but you've got you've got lots of contacts down here. Yeah, I've got loads of contacts down here. I've got family that lives around the area. But the Jason, the Jason name is a fighting name. But I'm not a fighting man, but my family are. Yeah. So if the Joyce name is a fighting name, how yeah. come you didn't get involved in the fight? Uh, when I was younger I did, but then I got older and got wiser. And, it, and, then, <laughs> and now I'm a drinking man. <laughs> You, st you didn't like to be cracked in the no, jaw? No, I didn't like to get getting it. Don't, didn't like getting boxed. No. That's right. So you're not going to be another Tyson Fury, basically. No, 100%. He's only, there's only one Tyson Fury. There's only one, mate. Yeah, exactly. There's only, there's only one Tyson only Fury. One. Oh, Do you know oh, what, though? I've done some boxing, I tell you. That is yes. a hard sport. 100%. A really yes, hard sport. All day long. But tell me about the, the <laughs> boxing culture from the Irish traveller tradition. Like, How early do you start fighting? You start, once you, you're about seven years old, yep. you walk around the camp, someone hits you, you hit them back. If you don't hit them back, you go, go run to the daddy, and if you cry, the daddy's hitting you. So he makes you go back out and hit him again. Right. So basically, you have to show your masculinity then and there. You have to be able to survive. Early. 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 You have to do it early. Are they testing you then? Someone cracks you in the mouth. They're testing at that, you. To at see. that age, no. That age, no. But when you teenagers they would straight or if you get it if say you have an argument with somebody and you get a small name not a big fighting name him and him and John, Tom Dick and Harry they'll test you then because you got a name right that's what happens and if you t if you're tested and you don't fight back if you if you get tested your your embarrassment yeah you yeah, might yeah. Have gone as hang yourself and go and so if that happens then, yes. if someone doesn't fight back, yes. does the bullying start then? 100%. If you don't fight back, you are going to be the punch bag for everyone. And then what happens? Then, what then happens? you're fucked. Do the families get involved at that yes, point? Yes, the families will get involved. What the families will do then? They'll get embarrassed. They'll stick up for you. See, so what happens is, if he won't fight, I'll fight for you. Jesus. That's what happens, see. 
you know what? That reminds me of that. <laughs> it reminds me of a film. I can't remember what the film is, but he steps in for his brother. Hollywood film, but yeah. it's kind of like it's, that, right? It's like that. But then it's like an embarrassment then, because if the Joyce is, say the Joyce is the fighting name, which is what it yes, is, yes. even I know that, yeah. right? Then if you don't fight, the pressure on you. The pressure on you alone. You're better off fighting and losing than not fighting at all. Christ. So you need to go and fight. And if you lose your fight, they'll pat you in the back while well, you've done your best. But if you don't fight, you're fucked. Your life won't be worth living. And how long does that fighting go on for? Oh, in terms oh the of few, few, you mean? Yeah. Sometimes it go on for years. We've, we've been fighting with Travis, I won't mean name the names because they're not worth talking about. But we've been fighting with people for 40, 50 years. Not me personally, but so on and so on. Really? Yes. So but other feuds happens, could be over in a week. I see that online, it almost looks like a cliche, you know, where there's yeah. like feuds with other names and stuff like yeah. that, but it's real. It's real, it goes on for 40, 50 years. Yes. 40, 50 years? 100%, some of them does. Do you reckon they kind of enjoy it? So what it was, what it is, the kids grow up hearing the dads talking about certain people, they hear the dads talking about certain people, so what do they do? They're, they're brought up in their, in their head, isn't they? So they're growing up thinking, my dad don't like yeah, that yeah, certain person. Yeah, of course, person. they get conditioned. Yeah. yeah, my dad don't like that certain person. Even though they don't know that person, they, in their head, they don't like that person. And they don't know why they don't like them. Right. But they've been brought up not to like certain certain names. Right, right, right. And they, that's where they're brought up. And all of a sudden, you walk along and you find somebody, what's your name? Such a name, I won't bring no names into it, but... And then he realized, I don't like you because my, my family don't like you. But he don't know why he doesn't like them. He doesn't know why. Yes. So it's just basic conditioning. He's just been taught to He's dislike. He's been talked, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 He's yeah, been yeah. brought up that way. Yeah, and then it just continues, right? <laughs> yeah, 100%. But what about, what about the age of like uh, men in the tradi uh, gypsy tradition when it comes to fight? How, how, how old do they get before well, they also, stop fighting? They don't stop fighting. They don't stop. They do not. Ah, uh, you know what? That's, that's why Tyson Fury's dad's always talking yes. about fighting. My dad is 82 years old and he's still looking for a fight, Ron Rumford. He goes around, I'm Mikey Joyce, I'll fight any man in Rumford. That's what my dad oh, does. Yeah. And he's 82 years old. <laughs> and he's like me, said he can't fight. But anyway, he thinks he can fight. But he thinks he can fight. He thinks he can fight, that's all that matters. Bless him, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, 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 he's maintaining that, um, what do you want to call that, masculinity within yeah, the right. gypsy tradition. It's all pride, Rich, and all, all joking aside, it's, it's all due to pride and, and people that are fighting with each other, they won't let no one away with nothing. That's how no. basically it is. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what, but tell us about, that's something, that's, 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 that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. People think gypsies live in caravans. <laughs> yes. Do you live in caravans? <laughs> yes, I, got a, I, I live in a caravan up here in Clacton. Yeah, but I've got a house in Romford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a house in Romford. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I do live in my caravan up here. Uh, I got a yard up here. Why do gypsies live in caravans? Because we love the freedom. We love our own space. Yeah, and we're brought up that way. Mate, I, I've lived in my van for the past month. Yes. Right. So I'm getting a taster of the freedom of that. Yes. And I have days where it's like. You get that crazy freedom, it's almost euphoric. You can't believe you can be anywhere, but at the same time, sometimes you get that loneliness yeah, it's just and a, a weird feeling of this is this is a strange thing to do, but you, yeah, you guys are used to it, right? Well, we're used to it. It's like you, you, go, you get married, your wife gives you a bit of grub, yeah? Mm. But you always want your mother's food. It's, 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 you, you always love your mother's food. Same as we brought up in a trailer, caravan, yeah? Trailer, as, as we call it. But we go into the house, we don't like it. We want to go back to what we were brought up in. In a caravan, the side of the road. Right. That's what we. we is there? Is there like an emotional attachment to emotional living in, attachment. in a caravan? It's, it's like it's, you feel you want to be on the road, even though you go nowhere. Right. Yeah. It's say again. That's my, where you're from. It's where you're from. Yeah. So basically, yeah, wherever you. Yeah, because that's another thing Wherever about it. Wherever you lay your hat, that's your home. Ah, you ah. see, that's why yeah. Tyson Fury. For those who don't know who Tyson Fury is, they should know, but they he's the heavyweight know. champion of the world yeah. and he's a gypsy, right? Yeah. But he's a Roman gypsy, yeah? No, he's an, no, he's an Irish. Oh, he's an, no, he's an Irish gypsy. Because he went to the... He done loads of school in this country. That's why he speaks English. Oh, I see. Because he went to... We didn't go to much school, so we, that's why we have an Irish accent. But Tyson Fury's family, they they went to school to education. Okay. So that's how they speak English. But they are from Galway. Oh, they're from Galway? They're Galway. All their relations belong to Miss Galway. Right, 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 right. But they right. speak English because they had edu... Yeah. But that's why he can fight anywhere. Because yeah. you know you get fighters. You get fighters who say, I won't fight 
in like Las Vegas or whatever. And yeah. He'll say, I'll fight anywhere. Yeah. That's another thing about a gypsy culture is you'll go anywhere because yeah. you're used to traveling. Yeah, exactly. So there's no fear of being anywhere in particular. I'll fight anywhere and I'll fight anyone. Will ya? Give me a few pints and believe me. <laughs> What's your name, mate? I'm Michael. I'm his... Uh, Michael. I'm his good-looking brother. <laughs> You're the better-looking brother, oh, yeah? Obviously, obviously. He's the ugly one. He's the embarrassment. Did you, do you still fight? Are you oh, still obviously, in there? Obviously, give me a few pints. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's me father. We can't even the mother. Hey, there's not a man safe in a pub. Hey, what's I? Can you hear me upstairs? And if you're Sonic. Oh my god, there's no flyer. No, there's a flyer. No, there's a flyer in me, no, in me pint. Look, you don't after all that, you don't and I always say there's no flies in me, but there's in me pint. So tell me, hang on a minute, tell me about. Um, actually, we'll, we'll get to you again, actually. Um, <laughs> so the, the fighting still. Oh, when was the last time you had a ruck? You had a, last, you had a, Saturday. last Saturday. Last Saturday. In really? that pub over there. Are you serious? Like, so you have a few, few beers and then you stop. Oh, a few how, beers, do you, uh, how do you feel? Because obviously that's in the background, that's in the tradition. How do yeah. you feel when you're starting a fight? Well, sometimes I don't start. Sometimes you don't start. Yeah. But I can't feel the punches. Are you sure you can't feel the punches because no, you've I'm had drunk. too many beers? Yeah, next morning I feel. <laughs> Yeah, can't do nothing next morning. Just lay in bed for a couple of days. Get it over and done with. Do you live in a caravan as well? No, I live in a house now. You live in a house, yeah. okay? Okay, so is that weird or is it? Did you used to live in a caravan well, when you grew you up? Well, you can take the, the traveller or the caravan with the traveller, but we'll always be travellers. And it's only only a traveller ignore this. We are travellers on our hand. People say, what does that mean when you say that? We're travellers in our heart. Yeah, people say, how can you be a traveller? You live in a house. Yeah. Well, only a traveller know how it is. It's an insult to say. People say, you're not a traveller. You don't travel. You live in a house. Yeah. That's an insult. The host, that's an insult. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because we, we're travellers in a house. Only a traveller know what I'm talking about. That means that even, even though you live in a house, yeah. you can still be anywhere. You feel at home anywhere. Is that is that what you mean by that? Well, I, I can. Well, we can't travel there. anymore, basically, can we? We're not allowed to travel. The, the borders. We're not allowed to park yeah. nowhere. Okay, let's get to that. Yeah. What, what does that mean? You're not allowed. What to park it means anymore. is, years ago we could pull the side of the road for yeah. a week or two. Yeah. Now we're not allowed to go nowhere. So people would say, people would say, yeah, but you would put in shit all over the place. Yeah, and, that, untidy, and, 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 and a lot does that. A lot of dirty people does that, right? That they, they, they're dirty people, but all travelers are not dirty. But that's what I'm trying to say. But people do that, but not who's people. Yeah, yeah, I Not understand. all travelers. 80% 80, 80 of travelers, 90% of travelers are the cleanest people in the world. Right, that, right. Does that 20% gives That's everyone the bad name? It's like anyone then. They, it's like they sort of, It's like, for example, football, where you get a small group of idiots, yeah, you get the same, and causing yeah, problems. Yeah, is that what you mean by that? That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So do you guys work together? What's, what's the working situation in the travelling community? What kind of jobs do you do? Well, duck and dive. Hit, yeah, duck and dive. Duck and dive. Duck, anything they get a few pounds, I'll do. I always think um, you're survivors. The uh, gypsy community no, is survivors. I work, I, I, work for, I work for the gas board. I work for the... Ca I work, Caden gas board. I work for them full time. Okay, so you're working for a company. Yeah, all yeah. the time for the last 30 years. last 30 years working for the gas. Is that typical, though? It's not typical. Because I'm a traveller, people think I haven't got a proper job. But I've, I've been working for the last 30 years doing a proper job. Okay. So people, when you go in a job, people think, what do you do? You're doing scrap. Or are you doing? Are you doing the driveway? No, or, I'm you not. know when they come down, they say, "Do you want your footing done?" Yeah, all that part. No, that's <laughs> yeah, and I said, "No." I said, "Have you got a gas leak?" Oh, I'd fix a gas leak. That's it. I do. But they they exist. Yeah. Um, gypsies exist when they, when, you know, what you're talking about, the sort of cliched or... Yeah, it's cliched, yeah. It's, they, they do exist, they do exist. But it's not, almost like a caricature, caricature it's just, like... No, it's like this, let's blame the traveller, let's blame the, the pikeys. I, that's the name I don't like. I'll just say it once, I don't like the name pikey. But anyway, that's what the people say who don't like you. If anyone ever called me a pikey, I know they're not saying it with the goodness of the heart. That's no, an insult. there's intent yeah, and, and there's malice they, behind it. If they it. call me a pikey, I know they want to re uh, revoke me. I want to get the badness out of me. Yeah. So if anyone ever said to me, hey, Pikey, I know for a fact. I don't want to get yeah. the badness out of you, Dad, do they? Have you seen when the badness comes out of you, Dad? Oh, he's a bold man. <laughs> that's the only pub I've got left in Clacton. So I have to behave here. And that's not a joke. So Are you anyone, serious? Honest to God. Is this, way. by the way, we're at the, we're at the Never Say Diet. That's it, yeah. yeah. We're going to go there. Yeah, we ain't dying. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey. You won't get rid of us. We're going nowhere. Hey, I'm on my last one and with the one the Davina, a lovely barman, well a lovely landlady. 
I am on my last word as well. So I have really? To, yeah, I have to be nice. And have, has he got, have you got a bit tasty outside this pub then with your oh, fists? Oh, so many times. Yeah, I always lose. <laughs> How I'll young were you fighting? What, what age did you start? Uh, when the, I don't know. When, when, when my mother started beating me. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> when my mother started beating me. <laughs> when, yeah. your, when your mum started beating you. Yeah, obviously, yeah. My father never put my hand in me. My mother, oh, she was vicious. Was she? Oh, she was vicious. Yeah. She, she'd say, I'll get you in the morning, and she would. At six o'clock in the morning, the bed, she'd come in with a piece of stick. And, wow. she'd, and she'd, be, she'd drag the blankets off us, and she'd lay welts on us with a stick. <laughs> what? Is this being serious? You're laughing. Is it, is it serious? Seriously? I'd say, I'll get you in the morning, and she used to... She, you got the top, and in the morning, trust me, she'd come in, blankets off in the morning. You, could, you wouldn't sleep that night, because you know she's coming in in the morning with a stick. Yeah, but also, Michael, you're Michael, getting it. But, Michael, also, also this, right? I'm going to... After this, I'm also, she hits you. But well, she wouldn't hit us. No, she'd be, she'd, she'd go to the side of you, you jackass. Her. Well, she might not hit you, but she had me. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, he was the younger brother. Hey, hey. You ever thought oh, of doing so stand-up comedy, <laughs> you lot? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know this. This yes, is what I, everyone wants to know this as well, right? Well, tell me this Why is it you got. Go on, go on. Tell me this, Freddie. Go on. What team do you support? Arsenal. Ah, yeah. oh, shit team. Best team in the South, Arsenal. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah. There Best you go, team brother. South. <laughs> but anyway, before you, before you go, what, what was the last thing you can ask me? I was going to say this, yeah? Yes. You've got very, very clearly, you've got Irish accents. Yes, yes. And you've got Irish traveller accents. Yes. But you weren't brought up in Ireland. I was born in Ray Road, Mullingar. Oh, you were. I was. You I was were, born you, you in Mullingar. I was reared in Mullingar. Hey, 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 big man. I was born in Manchester. I've never lived in Ireland in my life. This is my brother. He was born in Manchester. No, he was not. We got eight of us in our family. Half of us was born in Ireland. Half of us was born in England. Yeah. Me and this fellow was born in Manchester. We have Irish accents. I mean, the only time we was ever in Ireland was for holidays, weddings, or funerals. We have never lived a day in Ireland. Me really? or this man. Yeah. Why are you fibbing to me? Yeah. Look, no, look, look, look. Why are you lying for? Did you ever watch that? Did you ever watch that? Did you ever watch that film Pinocchio? Yeah. Look, he's always getting bigger. Look, he's like. I promise you. And any child. No, you you said that, didn't you? Yeah. You haven't lived in Ireland either. No, I live in. I, I used to. Who's uh, born in London? Born in Peckham. I know. My yeah. So you, the, I mean, if you've got strong traveller Irish accents, yeah. you must be around lots of different groups of Irish travellers. That's, that's all I like. That's all we mix with <laughs> Irish travellers. One cover and the other one. Is that? I've heard of a big fair. Um, yes. What's that like? What's that like? Uh, we were just there. We can, we're there in April. Oh, is it finished? Oh, on no, June. No, Good. No, sorry, not here. I was going to go down there. Would you recommend it? Oh, lovely. So you like horses? Can I ask you one question? Go on. Are we going to get? Are we going to get uh, some money out of this? I'll buy you beers. How about that? Oh, that's good. I like take. Uh, you buy me a pint. Yes. I'll have a pint of Jack Daniels. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's done. That's fucked me. <laughs> and this, this is my mate. This is my mate, Gene. You've got four of the best looking man at Clacton, Gene. Uh, hey, Gene, Gene. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be on camera. He uh, definitely doesn't. He's not my smiler. Yeah. <laughs> We're all my let's let's qu let, let's quash the image of. Let tell me if this is true or not. Do you know any uh, gypsy ladies with crystal balls? Well, I don't believe in that. There's a lot of bullshit. Loads of bullshit. Well, a lot of bullshit. Don't mind well, that well, fortune well, telling. I met this woman one night. She had a pair of balls. Is any good? <laughs> She's a Thai woman. A Thai woman. <laughs> But, so uh, I'll take those. I'll take those. Time it was a real woman. No, 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 no. I think all that crystal balls is loads of balls. That's my big big Travel culture. No one wants trouble in this life. Life's too short. All right. Okay. Well, that's oh, well, hang on a minute. Uh, there's, there's something else as well. You get married early in yes. the travel culture. How how old were you? I was 17. 17. That is really young. Yes. Is? I was 21, and, and this is my wife. She was 16. Ah, I was 21. I how many kids did you have? How many kids? Four boys. Four boys. Yeah. Is it typical? Because usually Irish travellers have loads of kids, right? right I, I, I know, I, I, yeah. I'm but 16. Yeah. 16. Now you're fibbing. No, I'm not. You're no, right. No. I'm 70, Look, I'm see, he's laughing. I said me. I didn't tell her about the other one. <laughs> you, should, one the you need to be on stage. They need to set up a comedy night for I you. Need to be, I need to be on stage out of town. You're the cowboys. Get out of oh, town. Yeah, right? Years ago... Big Go families, on. and it's yeah. still sometimes I'm not like years ago. My my mother is one of eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah, my mother. My father is one of seventeen. Jesus Christ! So there are many aunties, uncles, and first cousins I have. But years ago, but now it's different now. 
Yeah. 18. Yeah. It's different now, though. Oh, a million percent different. Now. Women, women don't, don't listen to the men no more. So men were very, very, very much dominant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, is that changed then? No, a million percent changed now. Women won't stand for it now. Why do you think that's changed? Uh, women won't stand for it now. Years ago, women did lie down. Yeah. Hey, do you speak, for, speak for yeah. your answer, right? Women won't stand for it now. Really? No, a million percent. Why do you think that is? Because uh, women just, I think there's a, too much over of, of Google, Facebook and all that. Okay, and they yeah. Women will not stand for it. There's more divorces and travellers now than there ever was. There's more divorces? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are the marriages the same? Are the uh, dudes sort of married in a church and so on? So oh, yeah, yeah. They're in church, yeah. Married. And you always know the person you're marrying. And it lasts us. Oh, well, yeah, you know the person. Is it sort of set up then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I married, I won't lie to you. When well, me and her got married, right, I was in prison. Right, for what? Well, I, I, right, I was in prison for fraud. But anyway, long story short. Okay. Right, it doesn't make any difference, right? But I don't, yeah, but I was in prison. And I never knew this woman in my life. I never, ever met this woman. I got out of prison. On the day I got out of prison, right, this was in 1988, the day I got out of prison, I got engaged to this woman. That, yeah. Right. And I never even met her, I didn't even know her. And all of a sudden, I was an hour out of prison. Oh, Within an hour out of prison, I was engaged to get married. Are you serious? Honest and mighty God, my hand in my hand. Is this typical? Well, it happens, but it's not typical now. It's not as, as common this now. I'm, I don't know what to believe at this particular yeah. point. But it's the truth. Oh, I feel like I'm getting mixed. What do you think? I'm getting mixed stuff here. I don't yeah. blame you guys. No, though. yeah, but what it is, what Because is people it? spin stuff anyway and create stories anyway. Yeah, but it's a, it's a bit of a mick taking the mick. See? I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> I love what he yeah. did there, taking the mick. Mick taking the mick. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's let's talk like the more the more kind of final sort of details really. The of, details is that. Are you religious? Are you religious? I am a very religious man. I go to church every Sunday. Do yeah. travellers pray? The, 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 the most night. travellers are the most every night. Bless every up. single night to they go to church. Bless me face. I'll always bless me face. See so three times, Father, Son, and I just say please. Yeah. God bless you. We'll cut, we'll, and happy new year. We'll cut that yeah. short. We'll cut that Cheers, short. Brother. We'll cut that short. So, well, we are very religious people, oh, but we'll cut that short now. I know. Is you it, should oh, have come yeah. back. Yeah. yeah, we're just very religious people. But we're sober now. You should have come back. But anyway, uh, where's, that, where's that Jack Daniels? Pint of Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a beer for yeah. sure. <laughs> Do you want a beer, bro? Ah, no, all right. Thank you. What do you want, mate? What do you want? Uh, I know, I'm all right. I'm going to jump. Yeah, right. No problem. Yeah. Right, let's cut the interview. Yeah, cut the interview. Let's do it. Guys, yes. good night and God bless. Legends, absolute legends. Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Luke, look after yourself. It'll be good. Hey. Really appreciate All that. Everyone says morning. Up the Joyces. <laughs> Up the Joyces. Fuck <laughs> the Joyces. I'm glad to meet you as well, buddy. Oh, really nice Thank to me. meet you guys. Uh, no, no, no. I really appreciate All the right, chat. No you, uh, Thank uh, you, mate. Have a good time. What's it called? One day at a time. A day in the UK. A day in the UK. A day in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. J. Is that your auntie? I don't yeah. think she wants to be on no, it. she don't want to be on it. Mr. D, you have a good day. Thank you, brother. <laughs> right, after all that, I'm going to get on my way. I'll see you in the next video. Hey. 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 All the best, guys. Ta-da. Yeah.